Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Consider this 2 by 2 matrix A. If we multiply A by this vector u, then we will get a vector negative 5, negative 1, so geometrically. This vector u gets mapped to this vector over here. Now let's consider another vector. Let's consider the vector v, which is 2, 1. Then a times v is the vector 4, 2. So geometrically, v gets mapped to a vector av, which is in the same direction, and it's basically just two times the vector v. When such a thing happens, we call v the eigenvector of the matrix A with eigenvalue 2. So here is the formal definition. We have to make sure that the vector v is non-zero, or else zero would be an eigenvector with an eigenvalue zero, but that's too trivial. Now let's consider this matrix A. What if we want to find eigenvectors, and what if we just so happen to know that an eigenvalue is two? So what we want to do is find vectors so that it satisfies this equation, ax equals two times x, where these are the same x's. This is the same equation as? ax minus 2x equals 0. If we want to factor out an x, well, we could consider something like this, but this doesn't really make sense because a is a matrix, 2 is a number. You can't really subtract 2 from a matrix, so we need to make some adjustments first. Namely, if we multiply this by the identity matrix, then we can factor out an x. So then we have a minus 2 times the identity, which is a matrix, times x equals 0 and we want to solve this equation. This is just a homogeneous equation. So to find solutions, we set up the augmented matrix. We know what A is, and we know what two times identity is, and so we'll know the coefficients of this matrix. So we have A minus two I, which is this, A minus two times I. So if we multiply in the two, we get twos on the diagonal. So we'll subtract two from the diagonals of A, so that A minus two I is this matrix. And now we want to solve for a homogeneous system. So the augmented matrix for such a system would look like this. Now we row reduce. It's pretty easy to see that when you row reduce, these two rows will become zero. And let's divide the first row by two so that we get this matrix. So our pivot position is here, and that's our pivot column. And these two columns would correspond to a free variable column. So the solution to our homogeneous equation is given by a free variable times this vector plus the free variable times this vector. So it's a linear combination of these two vectors. Those two vectors are eigenvectors. So let's check that they are eigenvectors. Well, we have negative 12 plus zero plus six is negative six. Negative six plus zero plus six is zero. Negative six plus zero plus eight is two. And so this is two times the original vector. So it's indeed an eigenvector of A with eigenvalue two. And you can also check the same with this vector, one half, one, and zero. Now suppose we have two eigenvectors x and y that correspond to the eigenvalue lambda. Let's consider a vector v, which is just a linear combination of these two eigenvectors. Well, if we multiply a to this vector, we have bilinearity that this is just c times ax plus d times ay, but ax is lambda x and ay is lambda y, so that we can replace ax and ay with lambda x and lambda y. Lambda is just a scalar, so we can factor it out, but cx plus dy is just v, so we get that av is equal to lambda v, which means that v is another eigenvector corresponding to the same eigenvalue lambda. So if you have two eigenvectors corresponding to the same eigenvalue, then you can take their linear combination and it's still an eigenvector. In other words, the set of eigenvectors corresponding to the same eigenvalue forms a subspace. And so in this example, these two vectors will form a basis for your eigenspace. But in this example, we needed to know that lambda equals two is an eigenvalue for a. So in the next video, we will talk about how to find eigenvalues of a matrix.